Over the next few minutes, I'll be giving a quick introduction to the Structural Designer Remoting API and some of its capabilities and showing you some of the examples that exist for this. So it's a .NET standard DLL, and this means that a number of languages could be used for your own app to connect to the API. And these languages include uh, common languages like C++, C Sharp, F Sharp, and Iron Python, but there are many others that you could choose from. The current capabilities of the API include being able to extract model information, such as information about nodes and releases, information about members and sections, member end forces and internal forces, information about slabs and slab items, structural wall information, and panel information for roofs and wind walls, as well as pile information. The NuGet package is available on NuGet.org. Simply search for Structural Designer and you will find it quite easily. And you can download the package in the usual way. Some guidance for setting up and how to use the API is available on the Tecla website in the Developer Center section. By following the links as shown here, you'll be able to access the sample projects that are available on GitHub. The sample projects will show you how to extract 1D element data and extract some steel beam data from the model. You may be familiar with this, but to add the package to your project, open the NuGet Package Manager, search for Tecla Structural Designer, and you'll find the package, install it, and it will be added to your project. The extracting steel beam data example shows how to get multiple running structural designer instances as shown in the code here. When you run this little sample application, when you click refresh, you'll see here it's uh, identified four different structural designer instances and it shows which versions each of these are. So in this way, you could set up your app to identify the multiple structural designer instances that may be open. The extracting steel beam data example shows how you can get a structural designer instance and then open the document and open the model from that document. As the name of the example suggests, it goes on to show how you can extract data for steel beams. So here it's getting the first order linear silver model and then getting some results from that model. It goes on to get loading, get the load cases here. Then it gets the members from the model. And then it starts building the information that's going to be output. For each of the members, this example is going to output just one set of results, but you could set up your app to allow the output of multiple different sets of results from members based on how you wish to use it. Here the code is showing getting some maximum deflection values and then adding these to the output, along with some maximum moment information and the position at which that maximum moment occurs. So these are added to the output, and the very last line of this method shows the file path that the output is going to be created in. Finally, just to show that this all works, I'm going to run the application with my open structural designer model and show that the results do indeed match what we see in the model. So this sample application did output some warnings, but we can ignore those in this example. It is still going to produce an output for most of the members. 
Expanding the columns, we can see the detail of the values here. So if I open the loading analysis for this member, which is the top row in the Excel sheet, we'll be able to compare the numbers. So the maximum deflection, 0.578 in span, well, span zero, so the first span, at a position of 2.379 meters. So there we're seeing 0 0.6, the rounded number, at a position 2.379 meters. We're looking only at the selected load case here. The sample app simply outputs the first load case. Um, so the maximum moment value, we can see 8784696 in span one, so the second span. And we can see on the bending moment diagram, 8.8 .8 there. The distance there is shown um, for the whole beam. So if I switch this to just only show the second span, we'll be able to uh, check the position there. So the maximum moment is at about 2520 millimetres. Well, the spreadsheet shows 2519. So I hope this has been a good introduction to the Structural Designer Remoting API, uh, which is available now. And we can already extract model information from the API. And you can use the example files that we've got to uh, see how this is done. And of course, we're continuing to develop this and more capabilities will be coming soon.